Right, hello guys and welcome to Purbeck Valley. Now that the map's dropped for, um, dropped on the mod hub, sorry, I was going to say, and I do believe it's out for both PC and console, I thought I'd do a video on it guys, because I originally got this map from um, King Mods, but I wasn't sure if it was genuine or not. So, <coughs> now that I know it is, I'm going to do a video on it, do a series on it guys. So, change to the map. Um, right, I've made some changes. This now takes, these. this cow barn now takes 200 cows instead of original 100. I have also changed the um, shed. I've taken the pens out that was in here because they serve no purpose. And I've now made it big enough for vehicle storage. Because um, working from this farm, there's not a great deal of storage. You've got your two um, bunkers, silage bunkers there. And we've got a shed there. So I decided to take the pens out. It's a bit tight getting equipment parked in here. Um, it probably would have been better with one of those sheds taken out. But hey-ho. Anyway. <coughs> starting equipment. Oh, and I've also opened up this as well for more equipment. And I've taken the shed out that was initially here. I've left the wall, but I've taken the shed out that was initially here. I'm going to put in one of Lance's sheds and use it for bale storage. Right, starting equipment. We've got the Vader Stad. Um, let me just check, see what one it was. It's the Vader Stad Rapid A800S DB Multifrew. I've got that one because it's eight meters. Uh, also, we've got uh, one. We've got two masses. We've got the Massey Ferguson S sixty-seven eighteen, which is four hundred and nine horse. And I've also purchased the Massey Ferguson AS three o five, which is two hundred horse power. Um, wanted a bit more horsepower because some of these fields are quite hilly. Um, not as bad as they are on um, Bally Springs, but they are quite hilly and sometimes they get a bit stuck. We've also got the co the co Cabolto, <laughs> I can't say, <laughs> front mower and uh, the rear mower as well with the um, swath on it. Hopefully, I haven't picked something that's too big. I'm just wondering if it might be or not, but we'll see. <coughs> and I've also bought the Pottinger Empress 125 SC Pro Baler. That's going to wrap some silage bales for us because we're going to make some silage bales to make a bit of cash. Because I still need a roller, which I forgot to purchase, and also a fertilizer spreader for the fields and that and also I ain't got the money to buy any seeds so it's a case of having to make do with what I've got right so let's jump in uh, the land that we own that I own is fields 42 41 60 which is the cow pasture so we can't touch that really 61 62 and 36 when I get the money, I will buy 35 as well, but we haven't got the cash at the moment. We need 190, 1,000. But a few silage bales and we should have it. Um, I know what I am going to do though, quick. Which is probably going to put me in the hole. Is buy the um, soil information for precision farming. Because I do have that installed and I am running that on this map. Right, so let's get cracking. Let's get some fuel mode. Hope you like this uh, Let's Play guys, feel free to leave comments, um, let me know if there's anything you want me to do, or you want to see, or you don't want to see. Oh and I also need a plough as well because I've got a plough field 35 because it's, um, last time I went to uh, use it, it was throwing up some problems, it was seeded with potatoes but it didn't show that, uh, it didn't show potatoes on the uh, on the uh, PDA so right let's uh, see if I've um, 
picked the wrong mowers for these fields. I wanted something that's swathed just to make it a little bit easier because we are doing silage so oh, I am doing silage so I wanted to save time and save a bit of cash on windrowers and stuff. At some point we are going to have to get a tether as well because I do want to do some cows at some point. But we'll see um, how we how we do. I wanna, I've also got the um, arable field to also got the arable field to seed as well. Hope the game sounds not too loud, guys. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments if they are, and I will turn them down for the next video. Hopefully, you'll be seeing this on Thursday if I can get it recorded and uploaded in time. It's currently 1:34 in the morning, Thursday early hours of Thursday morning. So I'm hoping I can get it um, recorded and uh, uploaded. I forgot I did another video for today. So I thought I'd quickly knock out one on Purbeck and see if you guys are interested. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your support. And for those of you that have still subscribed from the first day I started the channel, thank you for showing your continued support, guys. We are 17 away from 200 subscribers. So the channel is growing slowly, but we're growing which is what I like to see. So yeah, I'm going to mow these fields, get them bailed up into silage wells, and then we'll, once they are fermented, we will sell them and make a bit of money on them. Um, then I've got the arable field to sheed. Um, I'll tell you, oh, no, I can't, I can't buy this thing. I'll tell you what, let's, um, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to anyway. Let's uh, chip into the loan a little bit. Let's take 30 grand. Nope, 50. Let's go with 50,000. Just, uh, just gone over slightly, but hopefully we'll be able to pay that back once we. Uh, all right, we'll. Uh, oh, the one ain't cool. We'll try two of them. Two of them. Just going to quickly run back to the farm. We'll jump the gate. There we go. And we'll get the uh, other tractor on the cedar seed in with course play. And they can that can start they that can start seeding the field then. And then hopefully by the time I've done all the mowing, that will be ready for harvest. So we'll have to look at purchasing a harvester at some point as well. But that just all depends how much we make from the um, silage bowls. I think I'm going to do canola, I think. took two bags of fertiliser, not quite two bags of fertiliser. Right, let's just back up onto the seed, we'll finish topping it up with this seed and then we are good to go, hopefully. Uh, actually I better check to make sure 
Let's just check to make sure that it's not already seeded. No. No, it's not. Cool. Alright, let's go. Let's go and get this sorted on the field. Hopefully, we won't have no issues because the telegraph poles on this field, on this map, are non collision. Which makes life a little bit easier with course play. Because it don't hit nothing. But we'll have to get these fields lined as well, guys, but I'm not too fussed about that right now. We just need to get money coming in and stuff for our stuff for the cows when I buy them I'm going to go through I think just to be on the safe side oh it's already done a bypass no bypass thank you right so that's sorted right away you go then off you go you go and save my field for me It's going to take course play about 18 minutes to do that field. Right, that's that sorted. We'll get back mowing and get this field done. Yeah, so I hope you like this one, guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying my No Man's Land one. I know No Man's Land's been done several times before, but it's just a map I like playing every now and again. If I want time out, you know what I mean? I don't really want to play a map that's already made. And I just do No Man's Land and I can sort of experiment with stuff and things like that. Especially if I get um, new production mods and things that I like the look of and I download and I want to have a look, see how it, you know, see how it works. And see what money can be made out of it. I very often just put a plonket on no man's land. But yeah, when I'm not recording, that's one of the ones I'm on. I'm currently doing another save on her, um, Bally Springs as well. I just wanted to try it from another farm. I must do some... I will put up another one of that. I must do another one of them as well, guys, because we have another... Valley Springs for a while so I'll get another one done as soon as I get the time. I've been doing a lot of work at the moment and I'm also packing to move so it's finding time to do them. But I think I'm pretty much packed now. It's just the last minute bits and pieces that need to be uh, packed and I can't do that because I'm still using them so Right, that's that field done. We will move on to the next one. And then I've got the big one, which is 61 and 62. Um, I could put course play on it, but yeah, it's not very course play friendly. I like to move some, take out some trees that were in the way. And there was one on field 41 as well that I had to remove because it was um, floating. So... Uh, yeah, the reason I'm holding fire on the Valley Springs one because I'm led to believe there's an update coming out for it. I don't know when or whether it's been out on the map, and I have got the updated map, but I'm understanding that there is an update coming for it, so I'm expecting to have to start a new game save, so I don't really want to get too far into that map and then have to start all over again, so I'm just holding fire for the moment just to see. I'm hoping that's not the case, but oh, I'll just have to wait and see what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that for our screenshot, guys. This is going to be the thumbnail. There we go. Nice looking thumbnail. All right. Right, away we 
go. Let's get field number two done. These mowers seem to be working pretty well, actually. I thought they might get, might be a bit big for this map, but I don't know. I seem to be doing the job quite well. This mass is making light work of these hills, that's for sure. That doesn't mind them, does it? Can't beat a Massey. I thought it was more tradi more traditional to have a Massey on a British map rather than any other, because you know Massey is well known in the UK as tractor brand. So is New Holland, obviously. And then of course you've got your fence. And I think nearly every farm that I've worked on has had a Massey. Bit of a ridge in this field. I think that might need smoothing over with the uh, terrain tool at some point. I think it's going to be another late one for me tonight. We don't own any productions as yet, um, that will come. There is an area where you can do build your own farm, but what I might do is buy it and use it for productions. Because I find productions are a good source of income when you're starting out, or you're starting from scratch. We are on medium difficulty as well, guys. Uh, not medium difficulty, sorry, easy. I may change that as we go on. I just want to see how it pans out to what I, what difficulty level I put it on. So if we start making loads and loads and loads and loads of money, then I will increase the difficulty to medium and see where we go from there. I also want to see if um, I'm going to purchase 80 cows and see how much milk they produce. But judging by the way the pen takes 200, it will keep producing, it will keep, will keep, um, oh, I can't get the words out tonight, should I say this morning. Um, keep reproducing um, cows, so we'll probably end up with loads more than 80 once we get started on them. Uh, let me just check something. Oh, I can't till I bought a cow. I can't buy a cow because we don't have no food. <laughs> On Bally Springs, we've can, we got something called base food, and you can feed them soilage rather than um, TMR at the start. If you haven't got TMR, you can just feed them soilage. But that's the only map I've come across that's got that. I don't think this one has. which does make it easier to have cows from the start. Obviously. I don't know what the production rate is like uh, for milk and that once you uh, start just when, when you're just feeding them silage. But, you know. but yeah, I'm quite impressed with this mass. It's making light work of these fields. Right, 
is this field done? Right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do a cut here. And I'll come back when I've done a field 61 and 62, because it's quite big. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in, and we'll start baling the field into soilage bales. So I will see you shortly, guys. Right, I'm back. That's the mowing done in this big field. Um, I made light work of it actually, I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed with this uh, now bit fence because I've come up far, to come up the road too much, too quick, and bounced. Yeah, it's um, $200 Massey, it's not bad, I quite like it actually. I never really used Massey as much in 22, but this one's not too bad. As you can see, course play is finished over in field 36. Um, I did have to um, put it on buying fertiliser because it did run out. Um, am I going to get them in there, I wonder? Yeah, I was quite impressed with this, man. See, actually, I quite like it. Not a lot of, um, it's, it's, an, it's a brand that you don't see many people, many YouTubers at Play Farm Sim using. I mean they're all with their fence in class and John Deere's and stuff, you know. And Vultures and Fords. You never see many people really using a Massey, you know. And we've got two of them. Right, I'm just going to go and hook up to the baler guys. And we're going to make a start on baling these fields. Because I want to try and keep these videos small, you won't see a lot of baling. But I'm sure you don't want to see me wrapping a lot of bales or making a lot of silage bales. In all fairness, you've seen that before from other YouTubers, but I need this as a cash boost so I can get the bits I need, like the uh, fertilizer spreader, the roller. Things like that. So. And ninety five percent of the map is grass anyway, so there's a lot of grass work. When um, Port Farm drops, guys, I intend to do a let's play on that, but I'm going to try and do a role play. I'm not very good at role play, I don't know why, it's just something I've just can't do but I'm gonna have a go and uh, see how I cope but role playing's never been my thing go and see how it comes out and see if you guys like it. But I don't know when court files will be dropping yet, so still work in progress I do believe. Hopefully we'll see it before Christmas. If we're lucky. Unfortunately with round bales it's going to be a slow process but I do have a bale turner on this uh, baler so hopefully they won't roll down the hill because this map's so big I have to get a round baler with a bale turner on Otherwise, if I'd have gone for square ones, we would have had to have bowled the square bowls and then um, got a square wrapper. This way it saves a bit of cash by just getting the one combined. I 
may have to lease a auto load trailer from now on until I get the, because uh, I didn't buy the Merlot either, I want the Merlot. Once I get that, then we'll do m uh, manual bow stacking. <coughs> wage payment of course was gone off. What's that guy just been paid? 220 quid for 18 minutes work. That was bad, can it, eh? Or is it these days you can work for 18 minutes and get paid 220 quid? <coughs> Right guys, I'm going to end the episode here because I want to keep it short and I don't want to bore you guys with all the same with the same thing. So I'm going to end the episode here. When we return, I'll have these still spiles and hopefully I'll have them collected as well by the time we come back and I will sort course play out as well. And uh, and I think we'll speed up time and try and get another another cut done before it's time to sell them so the more we've got the more money we're going to make when it comes to selling and then with that money i need to purchase the roller the fertilizer spreader the merlot and the harvester if we get enough so i hope you've enjoyed this guys Please, please don't forget to hit that like button if you have. It gets my content out there, gets more people seeing it. And hopefully I'll get the 17 that I need to reach the 200 mark. Um, go down there. I was going to turn around and go back up and then start at the top, but we'll go this way. And then we'll pick up from down here. So yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe guys for more. Feel free to comment and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.